The president today considering clemency for a pair of celebrities. Martha Stewart, prosecuted by James Comey in 2004, convicted of obstructing justice and lying to federal investigators. And disgraced Illinois governor, Democrat Rod Blagojevich, found guilty of corruption in 2011. President Trump arguing both celebs with ties to The Apprentice were treated unfairly. On Stewart highlighting how she used to be my biggest fan and insisting Blagojevich said something stupid that many other politicians say. It comes after its latest controversial pardon, this one for conservative firebrand Dinesh D'Souza, known for his inflammatory comments. D'Souza in 2015 posting this photo of President Obama appearing to take a picture with a selfie stick, writing, you can take the boy out of the ghetto. The writer and filmmaker pleading guilty in 2014 to campaign finance fraud, later complaining he was targeted by the Obama administration for his conservative views, even though the judge found no evidence of that. Mr. Trump today tweeting, he was treated very unfairly by our government. What my case shows in miniature is the, the way that Obama and, and Hillary, too, have gangsterized the uh, U.S. politics. So is the president sending a signal to his allies wrapped up in the Russia investigation? No, not, uh, each uh, of the president's actions on pardons or on other things should be judged on the merits. Still, there is a pattern. President Trump has abandoned the vetting process that his predecessors have used to ensure that the pardon process isn't used just for political purposes. For President Trump, star power and a potentially partisan push. Peter Alexander, NBC News, the White House. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.